Green Bay firefighters and police officers are squaring off this week in a competition to see who can bring in more blood donations. And as Fox 11's Lou Hillman explains, American Red Cross officials say the extra donations are badly needed right now. It's known as the Battle of the Badges. From now until Saturday, if you donate blood in Green Bay, you pick your favorite department and a tally goes to either the police or fire team. The trophy is bragging rights for, for this, and then, uh, you know, obviously a good feeling that we did something for the community, gave back to the community. Nick Craig, a lieutenant with the Green Bay Fire Department, says this is the first year of the competition. Off-duty firefighters and police officers have joined community members in donating at locations set up around the city. Unfortunately, we, we come across trauma situations where people do need a fair amount of blood, and somebody who's been involved in a trauma can can need up to 100 units of blood, which is more than double of what we're going to have here today. So there is a, a huge need for it. Donations are typically down during the summer anyway. The Red Cross officials say the down economy has made things even worse. Unfortunately, the economy does have a big impact on, on what's going on with our blood supply. Peter Barreto is a collection supervisor for the Red Cross. He says fewer companies are hosting blood drives right now, which hurts donations significantly because it's the easiest way for the Red Cross to reach potential donors. We rely on the community and businesses as a whole uh, to uh, hold blood drives at their facilities. The Red Cross is estimating more than 1,700 fewer donations statewide this summer, which is why any creative effort to raise more blood is appreciated. In Green Bay, Lou Hillman, Fox 11 News. While the Red Cross says all blood types are needed, they also say there is a significant shortage of O negative. And that's particularly crucial because blood banks consider O negative to be the closest thing to a universal blood type. More information is available through a link in our news link section on the right-hand side of our homepage.